Hey YouTube, Alex here. Uh, I just got a new robot in the mail, which I'm excited to show you guys in this unboxing and review video. Uh, it's a little tank rover made by Kumin Tech, which I'd never heard of, but they contacted me offering me a robot for the purpose of doing a review. So uh, here we are. Um, and during the video, I'll be comparing it to my current rover robot called the uh, Fortronics Initio, um, which is my only experience right now with rovers. So let's see what we got. So um, off the bat, I already opened up this part of this packaging. I didn't really know how to open it. It's pretty, pretty cumbersome, but it's nothing too fancy here. It doesn't come with a nice box like the, um, the U-Arm metal or the uh, Initio. Um, but let's check out what we got inside of here. So my, uh, my first impression of this was that it was massive. Like this is a really big robot. Not, not terribly, uh, Oh, you got some extra tank treads here. These are, uh, these are hard plastic, not rubbery. They feel terrible though. So let's see. Wow, that's really heavy. So this is actually surprisingly big and really heavy. Look at the, uh, look at the motors on this thing. You can see off the bat that there aren't any encoders, but uh, I didn't expect that. Didn't mention it on the specs. So what else do we have here? like a generic charging cable. It's uh, packaged in newspaper. Okay, here's our first board, and this looks like the Wi-Fi connection that was mentioned on Amazon. Let's get a close-up there. One thing that has me worried about this robot is it has a camera on it, but it doesn't seem to have any kind of processing unit. I don't know if they expect me to stream everything over Wi-Fi and control it from another computer, but I guess I'll be finding that out. All right, here's the exciting part, the uh, robot arm portion. So let's see what we got here. One, two, three, four degrees of freedom. Three and a half, really, if you count the uh, end effector as half. But these feel like good servos, actually. I'm surprised. And this isn't cheap plastic. This seems to be metal. Uh, well, this is all very surprising. Second board, or should I say boards, so after some quick examination, it looks like the bottom is a normal Arduino Uno, or definitely a clone. The middle is some kind of motor control board, you can see there, there's the uh, H bridges. And the top is a very Chinese looking, uh, just an extension of the Uno, so you have a little, a little bit more controls there. Um, and a button, apparently, I guess, that's useful. Um, this all looks like hell if it's not documented, but hopefully it is. So uh, here's the battery, guys, and I just cannot find any markings other than S on it. But on the page, it says it's 22 uh, milliamp hours, uh, 2200 milliamp hours, and it comes with a 12 volt charger. Um, I should mention that you can plug both ends of the battery into each other, which just doesn't seem safe. So as far as uh, how this product looks, um, I'm not sure what to say about this because I don't even have a CD drive on my computer. So that'll be a challenge. We can talk about the more interesting things. This looks like, <laughs> if I had to guess, a 0.3 megapixel camera. And this is the same pan tilt servo mount that everyone seems to like on their rovers. Um, so cheap is what I mean. Hmm. I'd say they did, good, they did do a good job with replacement parts because it comes with two separate antennas, another motor just in case, a bunch of extra cables. I mean, this is really great. I mean, it really does come with everything, so that's pretty good. You do get your money's worth. Comes with another tank tread. So at least one replacement part for everything. All right, guys, I just finished building the whole thing. It actually took a while. Um, I there, I have to say, though, their, their YouTube channel, um, they have a video up there for every single robot model, um, and so I use this one. I actually didn't put the manipulator on there. Um, I put the camera in the center there. I just didn't feel like wiring this up, but it would go either here or here, and then I could put the camera up there. But I decided, because I'm not gonna be using the manipulator just yet, I'll just build it like this, and I could have a better view with the camera. Um, so, the complaints. Oh, uh, the software for this is not very straightforward, so I actually 
um, I have to use their debugging version, and it wasn't terribly obvious how to use it. On the Android phone, that app just didn't work. But once you get the software working, this thing actually works pretty nicely. It's really fast. Um, the software is at least fun to use. I mean, one issue I have is that I, I don't have a, a mapped keys to the camera angle, um, but I suspect that's because this is the, the debug version of the software. Um, they had another executable to run, but that one opened with errors. So if you see what I'm getting at, one nice thing though is that um, it's, it seems to be open source at least because the, the files that came with this had the uh, source files uh, as well the, for the code. So I'm looking forward to tearing that apart and using this robot for myself. So let's just see here. Oh, by the way, the, um, the lines are there for my, uh, my little rover guy. So just to do a quick size comparison so you can see what I mean, um, this is a big robot and it's heavy duty too. I mean, it really does feel legit. Um, this is my little uh, Raspberry Pi robot. Although I have to say I like this one because it has encoders on the wheels, distance sensor, two proximity sensors, Raspberry Pi camera, and uh, same pan tilt, and uh, the Raspberry Pi, of course. But um, for the price, I don't know which one I'd pick. I'd probably pick this one because I tend to like to control things from a central server and it just looks so much cooler. So there's that. I haven't really cleaned up the wiring. I'm probably gonna put this underneath and then use some zip ties. Anyways, I'll be posting a video at some point with whatever project I end up doing with this guy. And the link is in the description as always. Please uh, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff.